It is my pleasure to introduce this year's Male Senior Student Athlete Panther of the Year Award, Mike Picaro. When I think of Mike Picaro, I think of watching him play as a um, 15 or 16 year old infielder, undersized with a huge heart, just passion for the game, um, exceptional infielder, and uh, a guy that uh, when you go watch play just stood out, the size of his heart just stood out, how much he loved to play. Um, and then over time, the instincts for the game um, kind of overwon us, and we decided to give Mike an opportunity. And um, from the moment he stepped on campus, it was obvious to see it wouldn't be long before he figured out a way to get on the field and have an impact. And this award is about having that impact on the field, but it's also about the impact that he's made uh, not only on the field, but in the classroom, in the community, uh, with his teammates. Um, and I think looking back at Mike's career, although it's not done yet, we expect some big things out of him yet, it's those things to me that stand out when I think of Mike Picaro. What's up, everybody? Uh, just first off, I'd like to thank the committee for selecting me as a Senior Student Athlete Award winner. Uh, it's a tremendous honor, very humbling, and um, very appreciative to begin this award. I've learned a lot in my five years here at Milwaukee, a lot of lessons, a lot of valuable things that will help me out in life, and I just want to share a couple of things that stuck out with me. The first is that nothing's handed to you. Uh, you have to earn everything. Um, when I came into Milwaukee, I was pretty much last on the depth chart. I was a walk-on, so I had to earn my spot and kind of show why I belonged here at Milwaukee, and um, I had to work my tail off. I redshirted my first year. Uh, it kind of stunk because I was used to playing all the time. But, you know, I had to sit on the bench, watch the game, learn, and just get better each and every day. That's just what I try to do and try to be as good of a teammate as I could and uh, find a way in the lineup. And once I did that, I kind of still had to work like a walk-on mentality because when you have something, it's not guaranteed. You got to keep striving to be better each day because someone's always working to get, take your spot. So that's just kind of what I did. And, Kind of the advice I give you guys as you move on in your career is to always work like you're at the bottom. Uh, never be content with where you're at. And then I also learned that never take the game for granted. Um, kind of learning it firsthand right now, what it's like to be injured. Uh, so appreciate every moment you get playing your sport because one day you're going to look back and wish you had it again. And then the second thing and probably the most important thing I learned is that uh, there's a lot more to life than just baseball or the game you play. Uh, we have a unique platform as athletes to impact people's lives positively, and that kind of came apparent to me when I went off to play summer ball uh, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, because they kind of treat you like a big leaguer up there, especially the fans and the little kids. They look up to you. Uh, you're kind of like their idol, and uh, it's pretty cool. And I just remember this one little boy who came up to me the, my first game in Eau Claire, and he was kind of a sick kid. He was kind of in and out of the hospital, and from that day forward, I spent two summers there. He'd always be looking for me after every game. And uh, it was pretty tough because I would go like 0 for 4 in a game with like three strikeouts and you'd be ticked off at the world. But then you'd see this little boy who was just happy to see you. He didn't care if you got a hit or if you score the game winning run or whatever. Um, so whatever you do, uh, just use the platform you have to impact people's lives positively, whether that's in the community, in the classroom, walking around through campus, whatever. And finally, I would just like to thank some people. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the Milwaukee baseball program for giving me an opportunity to play at the Division One level. Uh, all the coaches for all the hard work they've put in and helped me become a better person and player. Uh, they were the only Division One team to give me a, a chance to play, so very appreciative of that. Uh, I would also like to thank my teammates, my best friends and brothers throughout this five years. Uh, we created some great experiences, had some great memories, and uh, there are times I'll never forget. I'll never forget 2013 when we won it all together. Uh, that's probably the best moment I've had to this day, being a part of a team. So. Thank you guys for everything, for being there to pick me up when I was at my lows, uh, when I'd be having a bad game. Uh, I owe you guys a lot, and let's enjoy these last two months together and create something special. And finally, I would just like to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother, Anthony. Uh, I owe you guys everything. You guys were the first ones to believe in me, uh, first ones to tell me to keep chasing my dreams even when no one else believed in me. Uh, this past year has been really hard, but just want to thank you guys for always being there for me, to pick me up. Uh, I'm very appreciative of it, and um, words will never do it justice how much I love you guys and how much I owe you. So thank you, and uh, to all you Panthers out there, just enjoy every day you get to put on a Panther uniform, um, and go Panthers.